New at 6, the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors met in executive session to talk about a possible solutions, a solution to the Rio Verde foothills water crisis. People living there have been living off of rainwater and conserving drinking water for the last eight weeks. Team 12's William Pitts was at the meeting and has more on what comes next. Will. County Supervisor Thomas Galvin says he has some concerns about Scottsdale's plan for Rio Verde foothills and he wanted to talk to the county's lawyers. Where the water is coming from is my number one priority, my number one question. But not the only question. County Supervisor Thomas Galvin represents Rio Verde Foothills and the city of Scottsdale. The only thing I'm grateful for is they finally acknowledge that they have to be part of the solution. Tuesday night, the Scottsdale City Council voted to begin working on a solution to Rio Verde's water crisis. About 500 homes were cut off from Scottsdale water on New Year's Day because they're not in the city limits. Those homes rely on hauled water. We are really praying for it because as far as I can tell, there's no other options. Oh my gosh, water should not be political. And unfortunately, this whole situation has become political. Galvin wanted a water company called Epcor to find new water and give it to Scottsdale, who would then put it in the standpipe. But we needed Scottsdale standpipe because there's no other infrastructure that is there for two years. To me, it was just an elegant solution. But Scottsdale says it won't do a deal with a private company, only a government like the county. Last week, Attorney General Chris Mays told Maricopa County it was legally allowed to be a temporary water company if all sides agreed, and they do not. Is it better to just have a solution or is it better to have your solution passed? Uh, my, my solution is better because it's um, the cheapest, the most affordable, the quickest and the most expedient. These people want a solution. They want the politics taken out of this. How do you take the politics out of this when it's two governmental entities trying to fight for who's right, who's wrong, who gets the leverage over who? That's a great question. And that's why I thought my plan that I consider to be a win-win for Scottsdale and the Rio Verde Foothills takes the politics out of it. And yet your plan was shut down by politics. It, yeah, and that's the regrettable thing about all of this. The Board of Supervisors met privately with county lawyers in executive session Thursday before any negotiation with Scottsdale. But Galvin says a solution is coming. The county will be happy to do what it can legally to make this work. William Pitts, 12 News.